All right. Now, I don't usually get too political here on this channel, or any of my channels for that matter. If you make internet videos, it tends to be a good thing to stay away from, unless you want a whole bunch of people angry at you in the comments section. But this, well, we're going to make an exception here because I think this is a topic we can all sort of get behind and, and be on the same page about. It hasn't been since the whole 2012 SOPA and, and PIPA thing that we kind of made a video about something kind of political, but hey, that got defeated in the end, so I'd like to think we helped play a small role in making that happen. What is it this time? Well, net neutrality. And maybe you've heard all there is to hear about this, done what there is to do. It was literally every post on the front page of Reddit was about this yesterday, people tweeting about it like crazy, Facebook posts. I'm sure a lot of YouTubers that you watch could have made videos on it, but if there are even a few of you watching this who are not familiar with the whole situation, then that is why this video is worth making. Or if it pushes a few of you over the edge into action who hadn't previously done something, then that's what the goal is here. So, what is net neutrality? Well, you know how you can pretty much access any website out there on the internet without too much issue. The only limiting factor is like if that website doesn't have enough server hosting space bandwidth capacity to handle the amount of people reaching the website, then there can be some issues. But the ISPs themselves can't choose, hey, we're going to prioritize this website over this one. If this website over here wants to get their data to consumers quicker, they're going to have to pay us some money. You know, while we're at it, why don't we just uh, break apart the internet into differently tiered subscriptions? So if someone wants to watch uh, internet videos on YouTube, they got to pay 10 bucks a month. If they want to access email, they got to pay $5 a month. If they want to get social media, oh, it's going to be another uh, 15 bucks a month. So we can make a lot of money doing this sort of stuff. Well, the reason why they can't do that is because there are government regulations in place to prevent it. And the internet, I think, is kind of pretty cool as it is. I don't think there's really anything inherently wrong with this mass open wealth of awesome entertainment and information and utility out there that you can access at the tip of your fingers. It's a pretty incredible thing. And to all of a sudden handicap it by repealing these net neutrality regulations seems a little bit counterproductive, don't you think? And why would the government want to go and do such a thing like that? that is inherently counterproductive. Well, well, that would be because the current chairman of the FCC, which is a United States regulatory body that, that presides over all things communication related, Federal Communications Commission, that's what it stands for. Well, the chairman of that, hmm, he used to be a top lawyer for Verizon. Hmm, don't see any conflict of interest there, do you? Mm, there's no way that you would go and try to push forward a repeal of regulations that could favor your old buddies back at the place you worked that made you a lot of money. Mm, I, I don't see any problem with that there. Uh, no, this is totally in favor of the consumer because it'll breed more competition and allow the ISPs to make money by nickel and diming you. It's great for the consumer. Totally great for the consumer. Anyway, I'm being sarcastic. This dude, Ajit Pai, what a great guy you are, is trying to push forward with the repeal of net neutrality for, mm, I'm sure, totally unselfish reasons. Um, if you read if you read the justifications for like why he's trying to repeal it, it's, it's such garbage. It's just unbelievable. And um, I don't think that most of us have any issues with the way the internet currently operates as a nice, fair, and uh, an open place. So he's trying to get the whole net neutrality thing repealed. There's going to be a vote on it on December 14th. But in the meantime, before then, you can, if you're in the US, reach out to Congress and try to express your opinions to them that this is not a good thing, that you don't support the idea of ISPs being able to nickel and dime everything, prioritize their own services over everything else unless the other companies pay lots of money. You don't support that idea because you kind of enjoy the internet the way it is. So there's a website in the description, it's called Battle for the Net, and if you go there it'll give you more information than I can give you on the whole net neutrality thing, as well as an easy way to reach out to Congress and express your opinion to them, because ultimately the government should be beholden to the people. That's kind of why it exists. So if enough people express their opinion, then you hope. You, you, you just gotta hope, just as with SOPA and PIPA, that it might actually have an impact in keeping things how they are. Now, inevitably, even if it's not repealed this time, they'll keep trying and trying again. It gets, it gets very tiresome at the end of the day, but you gotta do what you gotta do each and every time that they try to repeal the thing in the hopes that you can make a difference. And maybe, just maybe, you can stave it off enough so that this Ajit Pai dude goes back to not being at the FCC because of conflict of interests and stuff like that. So anyway, 
you know what I can I can even put it into easier terms to understand okay so you know how you can currently access any adult website out there without issue well what if uh, your ISP was like hey you know what we're gonna we're gonna add that as a $50 extra to access those adult websites so um, fork it over they're all blocked yeah how's about that how now now I got your attention now you're like okay we got to keep this net neutrality in place mm -mm. can't have that going away there you go that was your final bit of motivation so head on over to the website in the description and do what you can do read up get more info about it even if you're not based in the US unfortunately because there are so many large uh, uh, web services that are based in the US just the US's policy can have international implications so it's kind of not super fair that that's the case but because the internet is a global thing policies that are put into place in the, the the country that hosts so many of these websites can have international repercussions even though you guys shouldn't be on the hook for stupid decisions over here but I guess that's just the way the world works when everything is internationally connected so yeah that said head on over to the website if you are in the US feel free to do that reaching out to Congress thing and um, see what you can do hopefully all together we can make a difference because I would say that the overwhelming majority of the consumers are in favor of keeping net neutrality in place and it just seems to be some people who are either out of touch or possibly have ulterior motive Mr. Ajit Pai who are in favor of getting it repealed so anywho that's all for now net neutrality is kind of important it allows you to watch my videos if you don't like me there are probably a bunch of other youtubers who you do enjoy watching more and it would be a shame to either not be able to watch their videos and have them load as quickly as they do now or have to pay a lot more money to make that happen for yourself so all right uh that's about it for now thanks so much for watching this special public service announcement and um again this video is not monetized i don't want to like try to capitalize off of an important situation so i just wanted to make that clear at the end here and go do what you can if you can thanks so much for watching and uh let's keep the internet nice and open Thank you.